This is how I easily added realism to my 3D render using AI. And kind of like using the Ian Herbert technique, just kind of took some images and used them to texture and get a lot of good details, which will take absolutely a long time to try to do manually. Let me quickly walk you through the process. In my case, I went to Mid Journey and generated this image. I was using the prompt, a photogenic front facing facade of a small gritty Tokyo bar front facing on a white background. After that, I generated a couple of images and kind of chose the one that I wanted to choose. I ended up choosing this one. Now, if you don't have Mid Journey, I have a free alternative for you. Go to Playground, make an account down here. You clearly see here they have a free program here. Create up to 100 images to a day and you can use the images commercially. Absolutely fantastic. So I came in here and I threw in the exact same prompt and hit generate. And this was some of the results that I was getting. This would actually work out pretty well too. But I would also advise you to go ahead and play around with these different options that they have available to see if you can improve your renders. Now for all my Octane users out there, what I ended up doing was I just kept my whole rendering system inside of Cycles the whole time I was working. I will select Cycles, which will allow me to do image as planes. Once you have your image imported, make sure you work to scale again. So I have my guy here and I basically just set my image up to try to get something that's in scale. You get a lot more better control with the lights and things just look a lot more better when you work to scale. I literally select the whole image and just start making loop cuts again this is a very easy simple process and it's actually very therapeutic for me I just love to throw some music on and just start cutting away do the first major sections of the building you clearly see we have this one and then we have two and then we have three and then even maybe four here so just get the general cuts first and then you'll start to come back in and start making more detailed cuts once you start getting your cuts ready, then you switch over into face mode. Just start to grab your sections and extrude them out. Coming in and start to cut out your windows by just doing basic insets and extrusions. You can spend as much time as detail as you want. The more time you spend, of course, the better the render is going to look in the end. And then once you start making all of your cuts and extrusions, we need to set our materials again by jumping into the UV editor. For all of my Octane users, this is where I might go ahead and jump over back into Octane. After you make all your exclusions, you're going to need to set your material. And if you're converting from cycles to Octane, all you need to do is disconnect this alpha because we don't need the alpha. Leave everything else that's connected scroll all the way down in your material tab to convert to octane material hit ok and now it's going to set us up with our octane material we don't need the texture admission node you can go ahead and delete that click on the material hit backspace to set all the things back to normal and then if we fire up our render boom now we can see we have our image and to fix this stretching text we'll go ahead and jump back into our face mode select the images that need to be fixed what I like to do is just get to a good angle for example we're on top view I'm gonna press Control 7 to go to the bottom view hit U and just go project from view jump back into your editor your UV editor load up your image for your background by clicking on this tab here and you should see your image select all there is my uvs and then just go ahead and just replace them somewhere appropriate and there now we've fixed our stretched uvs and to get rid of these white edges just jump into your loop cuts again just select the area and then delete faces and then after spending a little bit of time this is what you've got you can make your own little assets here like i've made my own little benches and then i've also downloaded some free assets that i've also had adding junk and other things here to the side i did the same process here for this little soda machine but i actually used a real photo and again you can spend more time on it to get the details to pop but this was just a really quick and easy way to practice some basic extruding and setting modeling to really help you add some realism to your scenes and then when I was finished, did a little bit of a post-processing to it. And this was my final outcome, all based off of a image that I downloaded from Mid Journey. If you really want to take it up another level, I would suggest using real world photos. It will just help you get that much closer to realism. If you're wondering why I'm using Octane, take a look at this video where I do Octane versus Cycles and see which render engine is the best. Catch you in the next one. Patrick LeVar, keep rendering.